previously on In My 20s. I'm gonna live alone for a month for the first time in my entire life. Is that not the most In My 20s experience you've ever heard so of? So as some of you guys know, my husband's out there delivering a penny to Mr. Beast, raising money through Feeding America to provide meals, and I'm out here living alone. Super scary, crazy times. It is a new experience for me though. I am 21 and have only ever lived alone for two weeks and it went horribly. So this time I'm looking at it as an opportunity for growth to experience my life alone with Spock, of course. But I really feel like it's gonna be the month of emotional growth and practicing silence in solitude. It's difficult for me. Yeah, so I guess I should explain that one time that I did live alone for two weeks. Cause I got some comments on the last video that was like, I thought you did live in your own apartment and I did for two weeks. I was so extremely paranoid living alone. I think that entire two weeks, I would go to bed at like 2.30 a.m. and then wake up at 12 because I just couldn't fall asleep because I was so scared. And also my parents were going through a divorce, so we were selling the house. So my mom was gonna like go get her own apartment and I was like, don't do that, live with me. I'm super close to my mom. I love living with her. We don't fight. We kind of have a perfect relationship. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I mean, I'm actually kind of not kidding. I loved living with her. So I was like, please move in with me. Actually, don't get your own apartment. Live in my apartment, please. So yeah, that's the story. I lived alone for two weeks and then my mom moved in and it was so fun. But anyways, I'm about to go run some errands. You saw me writing down my little to-do list, but I mostly have to do a bunch of errands to get a new passport because I lost mine. So this is very adulty for me, figuring out how to do my own passport. I've been very confused, but I need to go to the bank and get a money order. I need to make a photocopy of my birth certificate. Such adult things. But actually, I was reading this book yesterday and she was talking about how when she was a teenager, she wanted to be an adult so bad. So by the time she actually was an adult, she loved paying bills and she loved just doing all those things. And I was like, that's actually a really good mindset. Like I should be, I have kind of switched my mindset where I'm like so excited to go do these stupid mundane tasks because they feel so adult, which is like what I wanted to do when I was a teenager. So now I'm actually kind of excited about it. Okay, this is about to be a milestone for me. I don't think I've ever gotten a money order from the bank, from anywhere. I've never gotten a money order in general. This is an in my 20s milestone. I don't know how to do it. I think I just go up to them and say, can I get a money order for blah, blah, blah? Let's find out if I'm right. I actually have no idea. Okay. Okay, funny story. I was in line at the bank and then I randomly decided to look up. Ew, why is my necklace stickly, sticky? I need to wash my necklace. Anyways, I'm standing in line at the bank about to get a money order and then I decide to Google how to get a money order. Convenient, right? To look that up while you're in line. My bank specifically doesn't do money orders, so I figured out that you have to go to the US post office and then all you have to do is stand in line, tell them how much it's for, and then they print it out for you. Well, you pay for it as well. I'm just starting to learn that a lot of things that I think are overwhelming and big and adulty are actually way easier because you basically just go to these locations and then they help you because it's kind of their duty, I guess. Yay, Haley conquers mundane tasks. Oh <laughs> uh, man, I don't know why they're so difficult for me. I hope somebody can relate to this because for some reason, super small things, I I just make them huge in my mind where I'm like, no, that is going to be so difficult. How would I possibly make a photocopy or get a money order of something when I literally have Google? And also you can most likely just show up to places and even if you get it wrong, they will correct you. But uh, yeah, this was a big win for me today because it's taught me that any other future adult appointment I have to make or go figure out is not gonna be as scary as I make it out to be in my little brain. Also, I am rewarding myself. Not going to the gym also leads to me not cooking at home because something about working out makes me want to cook at home so i need to go to the gym today that's one of my goals mm, maybe i'll go to the gym first so i can get sweaty and then take a shower and then cake my face i think that's a plan i just spilled my entire coffee into my car Mayor Pudis. His new nickname is Pudis. I don't know where I get the nicknames, they just come off the spot. I've been loving doing Dutch braids lately. I haven't been to the gym in two weeks. It's always nerve wracking the longer you wait to walk in. I think I'm just gonna do some hip thrusts and stair stepper because usually my first day back, I wanna pass out. So, since I spilled my coffee, Celsius, I only like the non carbonated. Peach mango is the best. Okay, let's go. I did it. I went to the gym for 20 minutes. <laughs> I did 20 minutes of stairs separate and I left. But hey, it's my first time going in a while, so I'm feeling accomplished regardless. And now let's go to Trader Joe's. Also haven't grocery shopped in a while, so. I specifically want to get the cauliflower buff, what is it? Buffalo cauliflower. Oh my gosh, a friend of mine in LA made it and I felt like I was eating vegan chicken. The texture was so good, but I hate like the weird parts of chicken and cartilage and stuff like that. And I was like, I could, I could hop on board. 
to this California cauliflower thing. I'm gonna get that and some of their other really easy prepackaged meals because as you guys know, I I can't cook. So I really should start basically trying every single one that they have to see which ones are my favorite so that I can make stuff at home. Cause I've been bad again. I've been regressing to the start of this series, but no more. Suddenly I turned the bend from being pretty uncomfortable living alone to absolutely thriving. <laughs> Noticed that I was doing a bit of dancing. Yes, yes, that was me dancing. But do you also want to know what happened today? Is SZA, yes, one of my favorite artists of all time. I know maybe it doesn't match my personality. Maybe that's unexpected. Who knows? But she's one of my favorites. The control. <laughs> what the freak just got into my mouth? Sorry about that. The control album is one of my favorite albums of all time. I have never experienced an album that has been hitting the same way year after year, life circumstance after life circumstance. It hits at all times. There is never a moment when it does not. And for the five year anniversary of the album, she decided to drop six new songs and um, she has not dropped more than one song at a time in five years. So I was having a bit of a moment. Today's been a very good day, if you can't tell, uh, living alone wise. If you can hear the projector, yeah. I also have been keeping the projector down and using it every day, it's so fun. Do you want me to put a sunset background on for you? I will, here. So, here's how it works. I connected to my computer. <coughs> you guys know how a projector works, every teacher had it. But it's so aesthetic. Oh look, I can project my own YouTube video. <laughs> I don't really wanna do that though. About to come up, I'm blocking it. I'm completely blocking it. There it is. Now we're at sunset vacation. How cool is Sorry, I'm so hyper. Ooh, let's unbox some packages. I've been neglecting them for so long because after unboxing, there's a lot of cleanup, but let's do it together. Okay, let's open up the packies. I got a book from one of my favorite authors. She sent me an advanced reader's copy, which is called an ARC, and I've never gotten one because I'm not really considered a booktuber. I need to open that. This is too exciting. Now I'm gonna have to read it immediately. Oh <gasps> my gosh. It is so cute. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It doesn't come out till November, and I have it in my hands because I'm a booktuber who can read it first and then review it. She, oh my gosh, she signed it. I love her. She is so nice to me. Let me show you my favorite book. This is Better Than the Movies by Lynn Painter. It's a young adult romance and it is five stars best book ever. And this is her next young adult romance coming out. So I am obviously beyond excited to read it because it's my favorite author, favorite book. And she gave me an advanced reader's copy. So now I need to read this immediately. Wait, why is it so short? She always has playlists and they're really good that I actually listen to on Spotify. And look how cute this is. Guys, this is the first pack. It's only 285 pages. I have to post a picture of this and tag her because I love her. One second. First a SZA album, kind of. Now this, I am flabbergasted. My toes are always in the photo. Should I just read the whole thing tonight? Wow, we really started off with a bang with the packages. On USPS, you could apply to get free COVID tests at home, so they finally got here. Okay, next is from Set Active, whom I love, and I used to never get packages from them, and then I finally got on their PR list, which I'm so grateful for because I was buying stuff from their website with my own money because I'm an actual fan. This box is heavy. I'm very excited. Oh, wow, they gave me skincare stuff. Oh my gosh, this is such a cute color. Wow. A sports bra. Oh my gosh, a rib shirt. I love that. These colors are gorgeous. They're shorts. The sun is going down as we speak. Look at this color. Oh my gosh. A shirt. I love their shirts. I love the colors because I I dress by color now, basically. These shorts, are you kidding me? Look what they said. I've seen this all over. This is the skinny confidential ice roller thing for your face. Oh my gosh, it is cold. Wow. I need to use this in the mornings now. That is so nice. Whoa, that's actually really nice. I remember seeing this originally on the website and it was like so expensive and I was like, what? But okay, it kind of makes sense. Hair clips. This is my favorite lip gloss ever. Oh my gosh, in my favorite shade. Wow, this is the best package I've ever gotten. We're just having really great packages right now. This is the Tower 28 Shine on Lip Jelly in Pistachio. It makes me look like I have lip injections, I think. In my humble opinion. No, my lips look very different with lip gloss and without lip gloss on. Pharmacy Cleansing Balm. This is a really nice brand. It smells like a spa. Wow, that is 
a strong spray. I love it. Wow, that was the best PR package ever. Should I read the do-over tonight? I am so excited. Honestly, we could stop with the packages there. Those are too good. I'll just do two more. One of them I bought from Free People. <gasps> no. It's an anklet and there's beads everywhere. Did it break or are those extra? This is the hardest thing to find. There it is. No, it broke. One of them survived. One of them broke. I need to go report this to Free People and then I need to contemplate reading this. <laughs> I just spoke to a free people customer service and they're gonna give me a refund on the anklet. So that's good. Also, it is so satisfying that I can check off everything on my to-do list yesterday. I'll let you revel in the glory of it as well. Go to bank, photocopy, gym, Trader Joe's, reschedule lashes, and film. <laughs> So I just put on my gym clothes because I kind of want to fit in a lot of stuff today. I want to film, edit, and upload a book video at like a reasonable hour, but I also want to get ready for my passport photo, which means I'm going to have to like shower, do the whole thing, probably make a TikTok about it, then actually go to CVS, get the photo taken, and then I need to call the agency so I can make an appointment so that someone can watch me sign it before I ship off all the papers for my passport. I also want to go to the gym, so I just got to put on my clothes and go before I debate with myself because once you start debating yourself, you usually don't win. Well, you do win by not going Wh whichever one you see is winning so i'm just gonna like go do the stair stuffer for 20 minutes again i'm just doing the bare minimum because at least i'm going like just the action of going again needs to get back into my body because it just like becomes scarier for some reason and now it's summer so now there's i can't tell the busy times and stuff so i'm just trying to figure that out let me go stair step real quick <laughs> I'm gonna pass out. I'm gonna make my protein. I look forward to drinking this because it's so sweet. It's like a little vanilla milkshake. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm going to pass out, so I'm gonna eat this and tacos. I'm about to get ready for my book video, but I guess the makeup I put on my face now is gonna be the makeup in my passport photo for the next like 10 years. It's actually a lot of pressure. I basically, okay, I have a booger. Cool. I basically decided I'm not gonna try to do crazy makeup because I'll pr I honestly will probably butcher it and then it's just gonna be embarrassing to look back on. So I'm gonna do my normal makeup, but I guess more effort. I don't know, guys. I don't. I'll come back with the finished product. You probably won't be able to tell on camera, but this is what I mean by when I try harder, it ends up being bad because I tried the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer for the first time and I feel like it's kind of covered now underneath all the blush and bronzer and highlighter, but it was the concealer was sticking to my face in patches and stuff. I'm sure in a passport photo, you're really just gonna be able to see colors from afar, nothing like texture wise, I think. I just got the bright idea to just go take the passport photo right now. I think it's really quick, especially shouldn't be busy at like 11 a.m. So while my makeup is fresh and before my hair gets, while my makeup is fresh and before my hair gets oily, let's just take the photo. Okay, wish me luck. <laughs> Okay, number one, that was awkward. And number two, a total fail. Are you ready for this stupid passport photo reveal? Also, Spock tried to chew on one, so it's a little bad, but. There she is, yup. You see how one side of my face looks super elongated and I don't know what happened to my hair. The part is not down the center and then one part is not as flat. I don't know, I'm blaming shadows. Whatever, it doesn't matter to me that much. And then I came home and I filmed, edited, and I just uploaded a book recommendations video for my vlog channel. So I just went upstairs to check my planner and I checked off absolutely everything and it's 4 p.m. So now I have time to just relax. I could make plans, but I don't want to actually. I wanna finish this book, Everything I Know About Love by Dolly Alderton. It's actually a memoir. I don't think I've ever read a memoir, um, but as you can see, I'm almost done with it. I'm actually really enjoying it, surprisingly, shockingly. Almost DNF'd it at the beginning, meaning did not finish. Almost put it down, but I powered through and I actually really do like this book. Not for advice. It almost feels like fiction because of her life and like her gossiping about her juiciest stories to you, you know? So I'm gonna read this and relax. I then proceeded to journal and I did not stop until I realized I had filled over four pages and I was just making crazy breakthroughs. I don't even know what was going on, but this is exactly what I was hoping for through the silence and the solitude and the living alone and being uncomfortable. It really gave me the opportunity to think about the thoughts and emotions I've had over the past month or few months and haven't been able to process. And then writing them all down, I feel like I just got a revelation and a breakthrough through it. You can see I'm like breathing heavy. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm realizing things. So to say that I recommend this experience is an understatement. If this is what's happening in the first week, I cannot wait to see what happens by the end of the month. Thank you for coming on this journey with me and I will see you guys next time.